Holiday Palms RV Park is a great place to stay in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we're here to share it with you. I'm TK. And I'm Earl. Let's check out the park. Does that work now? Yeah. How did you fix it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Quartzsite is known by some as the boondocking capital of the world. And the whole idea for us going there actually came from the movie Nomadland, which is based on true stories of a whole bunch of van lifers and boondockers. And in January and February, a lot of people gather together for the RV show and the gem show that both happen in Quartzsite. So that's pretty neat. We decided we kind of wanted to feel the vibe there, although it was actually, I think, April when we visited. Yeah. And also, we had the idea of dipping our toe in the Pacific Ocean, so we decided we were going to just spend, I think it was six days, yep. in Quartzsite, so we could spend one day driving out and taking the dogs with us to um, the dog beach in San Diego and seeing some friends, and then heading right back that same day. Uh, so it was, it was nice. It was very, very quiet though in April when we visited. Uh, well, next time we go back, we'd probably like to visit during one of those shows to check it out. Yeah, it was a lot busier and a lot more things to do. It was a really nice park. And there were definitely a lot of palm trees at this park. So, it, it, yep. <laughs> <laughs> My absolute favorite part was the hot tub. <laughs> the best hot tub, I think, of all the parks. So, um,. I would definitely like to go back just for the hot tub. It was enclosed, indoors, it was pretty large. It's almost like a yeah. small pool. And people weren't taking advantage. It was also open really late. Yeah, that was nice. We had like an opening over top. It was, oh yeah, it was it, open. Yeah, so we could watch, look at the stars while we were in there. Yeah, so we like had powwows and chilled like after a long work day, it was awesome. The pool was a very nice size and had plenty of chairs around too for people to relax on. One thing you don't see too often is they had a place to change your oil too, which a lot of parks don't let you work on your vehicle. So that was pretty interesting. We had a really great spot right up front, which was really nice. We didn't have to drive through the park and everything. We just had it right up front and had full hookups, which we usually do. We had the sewer right there and here's the water spigot. And then of course we have the 50 amp electrical hookup as well. The main building had the laundry room right behind it, as well as the bathrooms, which led into the hot tub and the pool area. And the laundry room was reasonably priced, although we didn't use it on sale. No, yeah. but yeah, prices were still very good. There's also a room that had billiards and a small little area for working out. And they had a huge blending library. like shelves and walls like usually i'll see a little bookshelf which i'm already thrilled about i'm like oh my gosh they have a wedding library they had this humong it was a library like it was like a library lending library and i don't think i took advantage because we were only there for a couple days but i was so excited books and dvds i think i too. think so and puzzles yeah so i mean they definitely make sure you're taken care of for outdoor activities they did have pickleball courts and horseshoes as well so you had some outdoor activities there was a space to walk the dogs. It wasn't enclosed, it was in the front of the park. I think it was, was it both sides or is it just the left side of the park? I think the, both the front left and front and right, there were spots the where grassy, considered where you could walk your dogs. And a stony area, I think. Uh, yeah, it was kind of close to the road, so that wasn't fantastic, but it works fine if you have them on a leash. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had an enclosed park for the pets. Hopefully they put that in the future. Do be aware of the rates, check out their website because it does change depending on the season. So keep that in mind when you're booking. Overall, this was a great park to stay at in the desert Southwest. And it's a place we would definitely come back to if we were gonna go to the RV show or the gem show that they have in the winter time. What do you think of Holiday Palms RV Park and Court site? Have you been there? Let us know in the comments. And if you have any other places to recommend down there, let us know as well. Please subscribe to our channel and you'll see more of our places where we go along our route. So thank you very much everybody. Have a great day. <laughs> That's it. Palms RV Park is a great place to say blah 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 blah. Quiet on set. Up or down? Up or down. What? Bark. Alright. <laughs>